An upstate vocalist is appreciating the past as she looks toward the future. We're sharing her story next. We've all heard the phrase, it takes a village. And one upstate woman is proof that our achievements are a culmination not only of our own talents, but of the guidance and support of our mentors. Kimberly Bryant remembers the moment she knew she wanted to make music her career. And I said at that time, I said, I'm going to live here one day and be on Broadway. And just about six weeks shy of my 28th birthday is when I made my Broadway debut. A dream made reality, of course with talent, but also with the guidance of others. Now, when I did first do Christine, that's another story, and that was the culmination of all the dreams, all the teachers, and the support. Teachers like Patricia Hunt Fisher, Bryant's high school choir teacher. My role was minor. She had all this to begin with. I just kind of let her alone. Who, Bryant says, played a large role in shaping her future. So I have a huge debt of gratitude for the upstate and for my teachers. A future filled with accomplishment and accolades from winning the crown of Miss South Carolina. I had great experience um, traveling the state and getting to know a lot of different corners of South Carolina that I didn't know. To starring in Phantom of the Opera on Broadway, not just as Christine, but as other lead roles across the country and internationally. So I had to learn the whole show, Auf Deutsch. Think on me, think on me, so and as proud as Hunt Fisher is to see her former student from the upstate rise to Broadway stardom, she says there's something else about Bryant that stands out even more. She does so much for nursing homes, for, and those are just things that she does on the side, for the Autism Society, for many, many things, and I'm just so proud of that. And now the person Bryant hopes to inspire the most is her son, who was diagnosed with autism when he was two years old. Look. Now, eight years old, he's preparing to sing his own solo in his school's choir performance. And the words are this, I know it. <laughs> I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm loved, I'm smart, and I'm unique. And he is that. And so every autistic child I've met. Of all the lessons Bryant has learned, she says her role as mom has taught her the most important lesson of all. I have learned through autism that never underestimate anyone with a disability. Never underestimate anyone and never underestimate yourself. Thank you so much for joining us at 5. WIFF News 4 at 6 starts right now.